been so long. I've done a few takes now and I just keep talking forever. So I, <laughs> this is my fourth take. I, I really, I should, I should talk to more people. This, I need, I need human connection. It's been so long. This is supposed to be... <laughs> this is supposed to be a weekly thing. I hope you've been eating tacos. I hope that you've been enjoying them. I have, and unfortunately I've been filming it, and I have not been uploading. Now I've got a lot of excuses, but I won't give them all to you. I apologize, okay? Taco Tuesday comes every week, and here we are. So, the footage you're seeing is of a place called Don Julio's in Moultrie, Georgia. So if you head north from Thomasville, Georgia toward Atlanta, about 30 minutes just up the road, you're going to run into Moultrie. And they have a great place, a family-owned Mexican restaurant. Um, they keep it authentic there, they do it really well, and they had some great tacos. So you're, you're going to see that here as I continue talking. Shout out to my father-in-law for filming this. That tells me that something is happening and I think of myself sort of as a YouTuber because filming in public is weird. Getting your father-in-law to film you at a table while he's eating lunch in public is next level. So share your experiences. What are we talking about today in Uno Taco? It's One Take Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. We mashed it up. Uno Taco. Today I want to talk a little bit about something that's been actually difficult for a lot of people. Awkward, confusing, surprising for many experiences, and that is the very, 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 very broad category of travel. Specifically, travel during this pandemic, this challenge, this, this COVID-19 season. And I call it a season because it's not gonna be forever but I think it's changed what we know. And it's kind of a, the post pandemic world will kind of get in settled into a normal, but it won't be the same. There'll be more restrictions. There'll be more of a, a general consciousness, conscientiousness to health, like public health, right? You know what I mean? Um, travel in this time has been weird because People have been getting stuck places. People get quarantined places. I actually recorded a, I recorded an un like an unfinished podcast with a college student who almost got stuck in Spain during this time because it's been about a year. It's been about a year since, at least in America, things really just came grinding to a halt in March. That's when it escalated here the most, uh, March of 2020. So it's been about a year. This is about the year anniversary. Um, and so ever since that point for my family, once my kids weren't allowed to go back to school and once everything started shutting down and just nothing was open, um, one of the things that was impacted the most, of course, was travel. Now, I grew up traveling. Um, I, part of that was because my dad actually worked in the airline industry. So there was discounts and free flights and stuff. So that allowed us to do that. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I'm thankful for my parents who just value travel and making memories and having fun that way. And I really enjoy it. So I have a lot of experience traveling. And that's been something that's been hard for my wife and I, because we, we both like travel and we want to do it as much as we can. And it just hasn't happened. I mean, other than quick weekend trips to pretty much see family. And even that has been limited this past year. So I'm on the edge of going on a trip which I plan to share more about here on this channel. Hashtag subscribe, hashtag whatever, just whatever. Uh, getting back to the point, what's travel been like for you in this time? Because right now, just the fact that you have to think about it so much, and I, I mean, from all I know and all the experience I have of traveling, you, you kind of have that, but there's so much you have to add on to it now. Um, preparing like what is your destination what are you getting what are the restrictions of the companies if you need to rent a car what's their policy where are you going are they going to make you take a test when you get back you know try to get back on the plane you know just 
there's all of these details now. Now, being conscientious of where you're going is of course important and that's valuable and it's inconvenient, but if it's inconvenient for the sake of another person, that's a good thing. It's just another layer. And sometimes it's, you know, the challenges are not really about like, it's not just about wearing a mask or it's not even just about getting a test. I mean, there's some other really challenging just parts of this. So what's your experience? Have you traveled during this past year? If you have, where have you gone? Have you found a place that's really uh, a safe place to go, really welcoming? Have you found a place to be like, hey, no one's talking about this, but don't go here. I would love to hear about that. Um, I would love to hear about where people are traveling. I've watched a lot of these like traveling families vlogs, you know, um, the Jergies, shout out to them, shout out to the Bucket List family. Like there are some of these families that are pretty popular here on YouTube that are talking about what it's like to not only travel with a family, but what it's been like this past year and where they've been limited and what people are planning to do and how that's going to work in the future. Um, a lot of people are just traveling locally and seeing things in their own backyard, which is great. And I think that we all should do that. But what's it been like for you? That's been something I've been thinking about. Of course, for me, I'm about to go on a trip. I will share about more about that later. I'm excited about it. Uh, it's been a little bit of work to make sure I'm, I'm ready for it, but I, I think we're ready. And I'm going to share my experience because this will be the first time that I've actually been on a plane I don't know. I mean, it's had to be at least, I mean, it's before, this is the first time since things in America escalated so much and everything shut down back in March, about a year ago. So uh, it's going to be interesting and I'm looking forward to it. And I uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Uh, thanks for just being here and listening because uh, obviously I need to have more conversations. <laughs> All right. See you soon.